Hi all, in this video I'm going to um, guide you how to solve practice one for lab 7. Yeah? <clears throat> the question says that write a program that reads three numbers from the user and then sort these three numbers in ascending order from the smallest to the largest. This is the first task we have to do. And after that, we have to sort ascending order functions using these following um, functions. It is given and it says that num1 is the smallest value. Okay, so without um, further delay, let us refer to the sample run and then we create um, the program. Okay, so I just copy paste over here. I remove the unwanted info. All right, I assume that you already know how to create the C out, uh, C in everything. So I'm going to skip for the explanations and I will fast forward uh, what I did. Right, I have complete the basic code we need. Let's try whether um, there is any error. Okay, there is one small mistake here without a slash n or n line. So I enter three values, any value to try. Okay, so I can display the output. I can absorb the input. The only mistake I made is here. I have missed a new line. Okay, back to the question. Back to the question is refer to this program, um, ascending order, descending order. Right. So now, without um, considering about the function first, if you want to interchange two variables, I'm sure you test it with uh, your lab three exercise. Okay, there is one exercise over here, over there to exchange, to show which number is larger, which number is uh, smaller, and then we do the ascending and descending, if you still remember. Okay, so same concept, we want to compare two items. Okay, we want to compare two items. So let's try here first. We want to compare num1 and num2. So we have if statements. If num1 is larger than num2, we want to compare and if the first number is larger than the second number, we want to switch them. Okay, so what should we do is we have to declare a temporary variable to store num2 value. And then num2, we assign it to the num1 so that now num1 is having a value. Okay, that particular, uh, sorry, uh, num2 is having num1 value. Yeah. And lastly, num1 equal to 10. So with this, the value, the values in the num1 and num2 will be swapped. If num1 value is larger than num2 value. Okay, we can try. Eh? Compile and run. We try 9, 6, 3. We know that num1 is 9, num2 is 6. We swap it. So successfully swap 6 and 9. So basically in this example, if you want to swap, you have to swap few times. And you have to concern about uh, there are 6 possible occurrence. Okay, Largest number, mid-large, smallest. Maybe there will be smaller number, uh, largest number, second, last, second large number. So you have to create a lot of if-else statements to swap all of these variables. Okay, and this is the swapping. Um, this is the swapping mechanisms. You have, you must remember. Yeah? So now back to the questions. Question request for this. Um, sorry, I copied again from here to here. Okay, the question request for this as our swapper. As our swapper means that we will swap the value from here. So what should we do is this copy and paste it here. But you will found that um, you will found that actually there is some mistake over here where it shows that num one is unidentified, uh, and of course um, we never declare it. Okay, but we know that we will get the pointer from the main program, so this will be the pointer as well. We get the value, we pass the value from the main program, so they are pointers. Okay, so this is num one, this is num two. You found that after you did this, problem solved. No more error. Okay, and if you compile and run, um, nothing will be happen. Just just want to show you that there is no no error. Okay, there is no swapping at all. So now back to the main part. Our swapper is done. We can swap the value already. All right. So what if I want to call it? 
when I want to call it, I first pass two numbers. Pass the first variable and the second variable to the sorting system. So if the first one and the second one is larger, they will swap. We see whether it is true or not. Okay, we try. 963. Okay, so our program can swap 9 and 6, becomes 693. Alright, so you have swapped the first number. What about the second number? We can swap 2 and 3. Alright, so run again. 963. So you will get 639. Okay, now 9 moved to the last part already. And then we can swap again with 1, 3 to see whether it's correct or not. 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3. Uh, we just try. Eh? Okay, 9, 6, 3. Uh, we will become 3, 6, 9. Alright, so this is one example why um, you have to yeah you have to take a paper write down what is the possibility for the inputs um, there are six possibilities from this case because we have three inputs so you have to consider um, I put it here largest middle smallest this will be our input this is the first case okay case one so you have to try one by one case two is largest smallest middle okay so you can try one by one eh? we have six possible six possibilities in this case three four five six so this will be the middle middle okay so these are the six possibilities if you want to change the number then can okay no problem so you have to try one by one right example given is nine six three All right, we will have these six possibilities where you can um, try one by one, compile and run. Okay, quit six nine, correct? Okay, three six nine again, correct? Again, three six nine, correct. And this one we don't have to test because it's smallest. It it is already in the ascending order. The last one we have to test. So three six nines. All right. So if if you see we now use pointer, we now use pointer. Basically, we only need um about six lines from here, and then three lines from here to do the swapping, to swap the values. But if you refer back to uh, lab 3, you will found that you need more lines, you need more codes. Okay, where we have shortened the swapping process to this only. Alright, so I hope um, this example or this exercise will help you to understand more why we need a pointer, why we need a function, so we can pass it in and then we can swap it, we can recall them. Okay, we don't, we can reuse them. In other words, we can reuse um, the functions using the pointer.